Thank you for joining us this afternoon for Action News at 5. I'm Glenda Lewis. And I'm Brian Abel. We begin with terrifying moments in Detroit. Yeah, a three-year-old boy rushed to the hospital after accidentally shooting himself and a 16-year-old brother now detained. It happened this morning on Alameda, just south of 8 Mile and west of John R. Thankfully, the toddler is expected to survive. But city officials say children having access to and dying from gun violence is a crisis. 7 Action News reporter Kiara Hay has more on the sobering statistics. Early this morning, Detroit police say a three-year-old child was rushed to the hospital after accidentally shooting himself in the head. Luckily, that toddler is expected to survive, but city officials say children having access to and dying from gun violence is a crisis. Parents asleep in their bedroom on the 400 block of Almeida were suddenly awakened by the sound of a gunshot. And what they found was their three-year-old son lying next to a gun bleeding. Detroit police say the child shot himself in the head when he found a gun on a bed. His teenage brother, who he shares a room with, is now in police custody. Fortunately, the toddler is expected to survive, but not everyone is that lucky. Detroit's babies are getting shot at record numbers for us. Last year, Detroit Police Chief James White says 67 children under the age of 17 were shot in the city and nine died, and the tragedies continue to mount. Specifically, when we look at children and adolescents between the ages of one and 19, we're seeing an increase in firearm deaths of almost 30%. Dr. Patrick Carter is the co-director of the Institute of Firearm Injury Prevention at U of M. He says guns are now the leading cause of death for young people, surpassing motor vehicle accidents for the first time in decades. We need more work to be done globally on addressing this issue. Carter says kids dying in cars is on the decline, largely because there are more laws and regulations surrounding car safety, like seat belt and car seat requirements and safety features in cars. There's several items on the market trying to promote gun owner safety, and one of them is a gun lock. All you have to do is rack your gun and feed the lock through the barrel. And when you lock it, it can't be fired. Joseph Pettigrew lost his father to gun violence in 2018. Now he's a mentor and advocate for gun safety. He's been a part of several organizations trying to pass gun safety laws, but he says it's always met with pushback. Many folks believe that, you know, those laws are uh, designed to stop people's um, right to bear arms. And I think there's a lot of miscommunication. Still, Pettigrew says he will continue to advocate for more resources in his community to help his peers steer away from guns. In Detroit, Kier Hay, 7 Action News.